am a kid that loves racing and race cars from Nova Scotia, Canada that realized early on if I was going to make a living at it, living in an area that only had a four month long race season, wasn't going to work. I had to do something different, so I moved here. That would be 26 years ago now and I'm blessed that I wake up every day and make a living at what would have been my hobby to begin with. My family owned a machine shop. My dad was heavily involved in racing, building cars when I was a kid growing up, and that's where my passion came from. As a machinist for my dad, I could stand in front of the lathe and, or a mill and bust out 100, 200, 300 pieces, but it was always the same thing. Racing is always changing. It's, it's innovative. It's building better mousetraps and lighter race cars and faster race cars and cooler products. It's the ever evolving challenge of being better. We build super late model chassis. We build pro late model chassis. We build road race chassis asphalt type modified, like IMCA type modified chassis. You know, we manufacture all of our own parts. We're blessed with a lot of great customers that support us, whether it's buying cars or buying parts, or that's it. We, we build cars and build parts and try to service our customers best we can. From a, a car build, it really starts on the phone with our salesman. They'll do a quote and work back and forth with the customer, and when, when they come to an agreement, that gets sent to me of what all the particulars are, and I'll create purchase orders of what we might need for steel in the rack. We have different stations where we build the chassis to where we put interior and in, in the bodies on them, and then move it to another station to assemble it and then it'll roll over into this area and get, get set up and the customer will pick it up. It's a long process but we've got it honed down quite a bit to being very efficient. One of the things that, that stood out when we first turned the keys on to start it as the new owners was the amount of customers that were out there that you didn't know about racing at tracks you almost never heard about. We're aware of the big names that run the, the big name events, you know. For the most part, it's the same group of people that run the Winchester 400 or the All-American 400 or the Snowball Derby, but what was amazing to us or caught us by surprise was the amount of customers that Port City had that ran at racetracks that, that people didn't pay attention to or you never heard of that much or didn't have marquee events that drew the attention. For our business and all short track racing, there's a lot of racers out there that work a full-time job and it's their hobby to go out in the garage behind the house with their buddies and work on the race car and go to the track on Saturday and that's how we all grew up. Everybody that's in this industry that I love, that supports all of us, that Saturday night grassroots sports. You know, the fan base there is, is great. You know, you can go to a lot of Saturday night short track races and it's encouraging, yeah. We're building something that people can plan their lives around. People can plan mortgages for houses and plan vacations with their families. And it's not anything I ever went out looking for. It's not anything that, that I started out in business to try to achieve, but when you saw that, when, when, when those moments happened for people and there was security that they didn't, you know, in the racing industry here every November, people are worried about jobs. And I, I take a fair amount of pride in that, that, that we've got something that people can count on and plan their lives and build their lives around it. So it's always going to be the performance and the product, but Personally, there's, I take that out of it as well. I wake up every day and I make a living at my hobby and I'm surrounded by great people. I'm Gary Crook and I am PRI.